Welcome. Please stand for the invocation by Full Gospel Assembly's Bishop Samuel Moore. Following the invocation, remain standing for the presentation of callers by the Huntington Police Department's Honor Guard, along with the singing of our national anthem performed by Mark Bates. Let us pray. Gracious and loving Father in heaven, we are thankful to you for so many things, so many levels that you have blessed us. We've come to this port of this day to celebrate this momentous occasion, thanking you for allowing us the privilege of witness in this day. Pray that your spirit would overwhelm every portion of this day and this tenure of this new chief. Thank you for the leadership that has gone before him and those who have set the table, allowed that this is a desirable place for him to be. We're expecting an elevation in all ways and in many ways of the uh, production and the presence of our police force. These men and women, we give thanks. We ask your blessings continually. This day, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, amen. Good afternoon, everyone. You can be seated. I'm Lieutenant Phil Watkins with the Huntington Police Department. Thank you on behalf of the uh, Police Department and the entire city for joining us at the Mountain Health Arena for this special occasion. And a special thank you to those of you who took part in preparing for today's event. Today marks the beginning of exciting times for the Police Department. Chief Carl Colter carries a level of positive energy that is already being noticed throughout police headquarters. He's made it a point to introduce himself to our officers as well as to local community leaders. He's met with other regional law enforcement agencies to discuss partnerships. There's no doubt that Chief Colter is excited for this new role. I know I'm looking forward to working with him to further the levels of service and protection that the Huntington Police Department provides to this city. 
Now, it's my pleasure to introduce our first speaker, our local Fraternal Order of Police President from Gold Star, Lodge 65, Corporal Richard Kern. Thank you. The mission of the Huntington Police Department is to provide the highest level of professional police service while preventing crime through problem-solving partnerships. This mission has been the driving force of the Huntington Police Department since its foundation in 1872, and today, in 2021, these words will never be more important. The Huntington Police Department has long been the standard for modern police innovation throughout the state of West Virginia and the surrounding area. Having developed and implemented strategies that target effectively target criminal organizations victimizing our citizens while simultaneously working with the community members and organizations empowering the citizens to take an active role in their community safety. These open channels of communication have placed the Huntington Police Department ahead of the curve in crime prevention and problem solving. Today Huntington faces new challenges, challenges that are personal to both the citizens and the officers alike. Officers of the Huntington Police Department have never backed down from a challenge. Instead, it is with bated breath that we wait, anticipating what the future holds. Chief Carl Colder, Chief Colder represents both the past, present, and future of the Huntington Police Department. His training and experience are of the highest quality and unparalleled by anyone in the region. His drive, focus, and mindset are reflected in the perseverance that is demonstrated daily by the officers under his command. The thought that he places into each word shows the compassion and understanding of the duties he has and the journey that we as a community will take together. His calm demeanor paired with the experience and drive he demonstrates in both his personal and professional life match perfectly with the officers of the Huntington Police Department. Not only will Chief Colder maintain the level of professional service the Huntington Police Department provides, but will raise the bar, challenging the definition of what it means to serve and protect. Thank you. Representing U.S. Senator Joe Manchin, please welcome Michael Browning. Thank you all for allowing me to be here today. It is truly an honor and welcome. Welcome to, to West Virginia and welcome to Huntington. Today I bring greetings on behalf of U.S. Senator Joe Manchin, who had several prior commitments today and, and uh, couldn't be here. On behalf of the citizens of the Mountain State and as your United States Senator, it is my privilege to extend congratulations to Carl Colder as the new chief of the Huntington Police Department. I have always said what makes West Virginians some of the best people in our nation is the unwavering commitment to helping someone in need. Here in the Mountain State, if you are hungry, you will be fed. If you are lost, someone will not only give you directions, but will offer to drive you to your destination. That's just who we are. Our police officers and all first responders provide an irreplaceable service to the public in times of great need and perform acts of heroism every single day to protect our citizens. Their efforts do not go unnoticed, and I sincerely appreciate them for their unwavering courage and selfless service. Carl brings a wealth of experience and leadership to this role with an over 30-year history working with the Drug Enforcement Agency. But even more special is that he is the city's first black police chief. I am certain his experience will be a great benefit to the Huntington community and that he will lead with efficiency, justice, and compassion. Congratulations again and God bless with warmest regards, Joe Manchin III. And I have something for you. So Senator Manchin has several things going on today and he couldn't be here today. But he, uh, I had him this morning, I staffed a meeting with him and uh, he asked me to present this to you. It is a West Virginia flag. To say, to say welcome to West Virginia. And it says the flag of the great state of West Virginia, Montanai, Semper, Liberi, Mountaineers are always free. Our beautiful flag is representative of the strength of our citizens and the unparalleled unity of our communities. This, pl this flag is presented to Mr. Carl Colder to welcome him to West Virginia and to welcome him as the new Huntington Police Chief. So thank, thank you so much and welcome to West Virginia. Thank you. Yes, sir.
Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Browning. Uh, next, welcome Bill Bissett, representative for U.S. Senator Shelley Moore Capito. Thanks very much. Uh, unfortunately, Senator Capito could not be with us again today because of other commitments, but she sends her greetings, and I have a letter that I'd like to read on this important occasion. Thank you for your kind invitation to attend today's swearing-in ceremony that will establish Carl C. Colder as the new Chief of Police of the City of Huntington. Although I am unable to be with you in person, please accept my congratulations to Chief Colder and best wishes to everyone in West Virginia's Jewel City connected to this important position. As we all welcome Chief Colder and his family to West Virginia, I want to echo his message of collaboration as one that will be well received here at home. As Huntington has moved from being the epicenter of the drug issue to becoming a city of solutions that the nation and the world can look to as we fight the scourge of drug, drug use and trafficking, a strong law enforcement program must go along with compassionate treatment and the reintroduction into the workforce of those wrestling with addiction. With, without both responses, neither will be successful. Chief Colder's distinguished resume brings decades of experience in law enforcement and leadership that will serve the citizens of Huntington well. As he leads the Huntington Police Department, I wish him great success in continuing to move Huntington in an upward direction and build upon the legacy of those leaders who came before him. I also want to thank the men and women of the Huntington Police Department, as well as police officers from other agencies and all first responders in attendance today for your service, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. Finally, I would like to recognize my friend, Mayor Steve Williams, for his leadership of the city of Huntington as he completes his third and final term. Thank you again for your invitation to today's event. Please know that you make me proud to serve our great state of West Virginia in the United States Senate. Sincerely, Shelley Moore Capito, United States Senate. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bissett. And now, speaking on behalf of United States Representative Carol Miller, welcome Darian David. Thank you so much for having me today. What a wonderful day and an exciting day for you, Chief, and your family. On behalf of Congresswoman Miller, I'd be honored to read the following greeting. Friends, it was an honor to receive your invitation to participate in today's swearing-in ceremony for our new police chief, Carl C. Colder. I regret that I'm unable to be here with you today, but send my best wishes for a successful event. I would first like to thank you, Chief Colder, for your years of service with the U.S. Department of Dr Justice's Drug Enforcement Administration. Throughout your career, you have shown your dedication to the safety of this nation's citizens time and time again. I am so pleased that your career has now brought you to Huntington and am confident that your experience thus far will pr prove a tremendous asset in our community. I would also like to thank Mayor Steve Williams and the Huntington Police Department for making today's event possible. Your devotion to this city shines through in all that you do, and I commend you on your excellent de decision in selecting our new police chief. As the Congresswoman for West Virginia's 3rd District, I am proud to represent you in Congress. Please know that I will always fight for police funding in Washington and do everything I can to ensure that law and order prevails in Southern West Virginia. To all members of law enforcement that are here today, I truly thank you from the bottom of my heart for all that you do. May God watch over you as you continue to protect and serve our community, and may God bless you all. Sincerely, Carol Miller, Member of Congress. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. David. <clears throat> and now, everyone, please welcome the City of Huntington's Mayor, Steve Williams. This is quite a day to be able to uh, join everyone uh, in, in this event. Particularly pleased to have the Black Pastors Association of Huntington uh, represented in all pastors. Thank you so very much for, for being here. We have several members of Huntington City Council who are, who are with us today. Um, Coach Bob Bailey, at large member. Councilman Duron Jackson, also an at large member. Councilwoman Teresa Johnson, in the representing the uh, fifth 
I almost say congressional district, didn't I? <laughs> uh, everything rocks in, uh, in Fairfield, right? Um, Sarah Walling, councilwoman from uh, the fourth district. <laughs> Holly Mount with the uh, councilwoman in the uh, sixth district. And the best in the West, uh, Todd Sweeney, the uh, councilman of uh, District 2. <laughs> You'd also uh, welcome and acknowledge the presence of a former um, Huntington police officer, retired police officer, former sheriff of Cabell County, uh, former mayor of the city of Huntington, uh, Kim Wolf. As was said earlier, 149 years ago, the year after the city's founding, the Huntington Police Department was, was founded. And the mission of the Huntington Police Department, ever since that first day and continues to this moment, is to provide the highest level of professional police services while preventing crime through problem-solving partnerships. The creed is carried by every officer is honor, pride, and duty. We gather today to witness the swearing of the oath of office, of the oath of office to the Chief of Police of the Huntington Police Department by Chief Carl Calder. An assembly of 12 community members volunteered their time to serve as a search committee with a mission to identify the best person prepared and most qualified to lead the women and men of the Huntington Police Department. The 12 members of the search committee are Sharon Frazier. If, if you're here, please stand up. Sharon Frazier is the chair of the committee. Coach Bob Bailey. Former Councilwoman Sandra Clements. Attorney at Law, Amy Crossan. <laughs> Businessman, Kirk Dodrell. <laughs> Labor official, Joyce Gibson. <laughs> former councilwoman, former city manager, and presently current university executive, Brandy Jacobs-Jones. Pastor and Commissioner of the Huntington Police Commission, Bishop Sam Moore. <laughs> Cabell County Assistant Prosecutor, Lauren Plymel. <laughs> Pastor and former Councilman, Bishop Charles Shaw. <laughs> Attorney David Tyson. <laughs> Businessman, former mayor and former councilman, Mayor Joe Williams. <laughs> Two individuals provided extensive, extensive support to the committee and we owe a debt of thanks also to Sherry Lewis and to Hank Dial. <laughs> Members of the search committee, this city owes you a debt of gratitude that uh, cannot ever really be repaid, uh, but this, this, assembly and this assembly and also what we're going to be doing in the coming days, we endeavor to make sure that we are honoring your hard, hard work. Thank you so very much. Chief Carl, Carl Calder comes to our community with a full career of service and accomplishment. Chief Calder received his bachelor's degree from Cheney State University in criminal justice and political science. His master's degree is in human resources development and training from Seton Hall University. For over three decades, Chief Calder committed his life to the eradication of illicit drugs in our society with the Drug Enforcement Administration. While serving our nation and fighting the proliferation of drugs in our neighborhoods, Chief Calder became particularly familiar with the struggles that the cities 
and counties of West Virginia suffer with substance use addiction and related crime. While Chief Calder formed multi-agency partnerships, he became familiar with the manner and ways of law enforcement in West Virginia and the values of the residents in our state. Chief Calder formed partnerships with federal, state, county, and local law enforcement. He also came to understand the importance of faith within the lives of our communities. As a result, he established a collaborative engagement with the West Virginia Council of Churches. Chief Calder has the wherewithal, the experience, and the contacts to lead an aggressive recruitment and hiring campaign, a comprehensive community policing strategy, and a thoughtful program of innovation, diversity, and inclusion. Chief Calder understands our challenges. Chief Calder embraces our values. Chief Calder is prepared to lead our police department. Chief Calder is prepared to collaborate with our citizens. In short, Chief Calder is prepared. Chief Calder's family is with us today. His wife, Sherry, and children are welcomed to our community. We have two of his children with us uh, today. Carl Jr. is a newly appointed special agent in the FBI. <laughs> Ashley is in graduate school working on her master's degree in industrial organizational psychology at Liberty University. <laughs> and his middle son, Corey, is an assistant coach at Davidson College. They're preparing to go to the, uh, well, what we like to call here in, in Huntington, 1AA playoffs. It's what, in the football championship series. Uh, they're playing Kennesaw State next week, and he is busy at practice uh, right now. But uh, while we're ye cheering for the herd this weekend, we're also cheering for the Wildcats in Huntington, West Virginia. <laughs> Chief Calder is a man of accomplishment, integrity, and vision, and vision. He will serve the citizens of Huntington and the women and men of the Huntington Police Department with honor, pride, and duty. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Chief Carl Calder to Huntington as he takes his oath of office as Chief of the Huntington Police Department administered by Municipal Judge Gail Henderson Staples, ladies and gentlemen. Chief Holder, will you raise your right hand and repeat after me? I solemnly swear. I solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And of the state of West Virginia. And of the state of West Virginia. And that I will, in all respects. And that I will, with all respects. Observe the provisions of the Charter. Observe the provisions of the Charter. Resolutions, regulations, and rules. Regulation, rule. And resolution of the city of Huntington of the city of Huntington and will faithfully discharge the duties of police chief and will faithfully discharge the duties of police chief for the city of Huntington for the city of Huntington to the best of my skill and judgment to the best of my skill and judgment so help me God so help me God
And now to present the uh, to present Chief Coulter his badge. His wife Sherry, his son Carl Coulter Jr., and his daughter Ashley. have to check my watch because I want to make sure it's the afternoon. <laughs> uh, well, this is a historic moment for me, my family, the city of Huntington, West Virginia. But in particular, I'd like to um, say that there are two people missing from this ceremony, and that's Margaret and Horatio Colder. They're no longer with me. They didn't get a chance to see me at the pinnacle of my career at DEA, the Drug Enforcement Administration, nor are they here with me today, but they're here with me in spirit. So I'd like to uh, thank them for paving the way for this day. I also want to thank, because without my belief in the almighty God, that this wouldn't be here for me. But I had a good friend today tell me that this was destined. And my wife always says, it's in God's hands. So thank you, Sherry. But Mayor Williams, I would like to sincerely thank you. And this is by no means my first encounter with Mayor Williams. As a special agent in charge of the Drug Enforcement Administration's Washington, D.C. Division, I saw firsthand that Mayor Williams was a man with a deeply rooted passion for the safety, security, and well-being of every citizen of Huntington. We have crossed paths even after my retirement, and through these encounters, he has expressed his vision for the city and citizens of Huntington. Thank you to the City Council of Huntington, and I truly look forward to working with you through the good times and the challenging times, and will look to you as the pathway to the communities you represent. And to the search committee for your professionalism in your service as representatives for the mayor the City Council, and citizens of Huntington, West Virginia. And I say that truly because there are cities in this country that decided they would select a police chief without a search committee. That's troubling. And so I want to thank you, Mayor, for having that vision to correctly select your police tree. <laughs> to the Honorable Gail Henderson Staples, thank you for the honor in inducting me to serve as Chief of Police during this historic moment in Huntington, West Virginia history. To Bishop Samuel R. Moore, the Reverend Jim Morgan, thank you for your invocation, benediction, and your time. This will not be our last encounter. To all the ministers here and throughout Huntington, this will not be our last encounter. To my good friend, Bishop 
Klesmeyer, Bishop of the West Virginia Diocese, of the Episcopal Diocese. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your service on the West Virginia Council of Churches and Province Three of the Episcopal Church. Thank you. Now, to Michael Browning, Bill Bissett, Darian David, please share my sincere thank you to Senators Shelley Moore Capito and Joe Manchin, and U.S. Representative Carol Miller, particularly Senator Capito, who I had the opportunity to work with during my time at the DEA through the DEA 360 initiative in Huntington and Charleston. As I have said numerous times during the process to become Huntington's chief of police, I am no stranger to Huntington and the state of West Virginia. I look forward to continuing my established relationships here within the prosecutor's office and the law enforcement community, state and local public safety, federal counterparts, meaning the U.S. Attorney's offices, North and South, the DEA, FBI, ATF, HHS, and my friends, I see them in the back, the Office of National Drug Control Policy, High Intensity Drug Trafficking Area. I look forward to the collaborative efforts in every, and offer everything I can bring to the table. To my wife, Sherry, and our children, Carl Jr. and Ashley, who are here today, and Corey, who could not be with me today due to a prior excused commitment, <laughs> and to my family in the states of Florida and Pennsylvania, who I share this moment with. Thank you so much for your support for my reentry into law enforcement a career that began for me at age 22 and spanned 32 years. Margaret and Horatio would be proud to see this moment of history. To my former colleagues who happened to share this moment on social media before I had the opportunity to do so, <laughs> to my Prince Hall free and accepted Masonic family, and I have two of the members here, and in particularly, they served on the task force with me in Philadelphia in the 80s. So we know about crime. <laughs> they worked undercover with me, they backed me up, and I'm here today because they have my back. Thank you, Todd, James Murphy. And, and Todd Hughes, not only was he in the task force, he later became the godfather of my son, Corey. So I love policing, and I love police. To my brothers of the Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated, and I have to give you those props, <laughs> particularly those from the Gamma Omega chapter of Cheney University of Pennsylvania. Sorry, Lincoln University of Pennsylvania, but we are the oldest historical black college or university in the country. And I have my first roommate here, Charles Gamble, who not only was a roommate as a senior when this freshman came in from Jacksonville, Florida, but he's the reason why I pledged Cap Alpha Psi fraternity. And I'm going to tell you this, and this goes to my Masonic brothers and the Masonic families to the Divine Nine, 
I see some AKAs here. Uh, don't make me have to come and find you. Because <laughs> I will find you. Because I want to find you to see what you're doing in the community so I can help all of you. <laughs> to the men and women of the National Association of Black Narcotic Agents, where I served as president for eight years, I'm pleading for them to help me in my search to recruit. To the men and women of the National Organization of Black Law Enforcement Executives, I challenge you to help me in my recruitment er efforts. Association of Federal Narcotics Agents and the IACP, I challenge you to help me in my recruitment for quality leaders, future leaders, of the Huntington Police Department. Corporal Ken, excuse me, Corporal Kern, President of the Fraternal Order of Police, Gold Star Lodge 65, thank you for the welcome and I look forward to collaboration with you in providing leadership to the officers of Huntington and I really look forward to doing so. Now, officers and civilian employees of the Huntington Police Department, I look forward to leading you and working with you to protect and serve the citizens, students of Marshall University, and visitors of Huntington. As we claimed at the DEA, and I say this to you, we have a tough job and a vital mission to bring those who violate the law to justice and to protect the citizens of the community we serve. Captains Corder, Merritt, and Zimmerman, and Lieutenant Watkins, thank you for your leadership in the department before and during this transition. I look forward to working with you as we continue to develop leaders for the future of the Huntington Police Department. Now, Lieutenant Watkins, you're here today. You can reach out in that audience and find out what kind of leader I am. They'll tell you the truth. In closing, well, one more thing, Brian Chambers. Thank you, sir, for the chor He was a great choreographer. Thank you for putting this together. And as the mayor says, this is part of history, and we deserve to share this moment with everyone. Thank you, mayor. And in closing, I want to leave everyone, police officers and citizens, with this message, one I received from a friend, mentor, and counterpart, Charles Chuck Ramsey, Chief Ramsey. Born and raised in Chicago, served 30 years in the Chicago Police Department, served nine years as Chief of Police of the District of Columbia Metropolitan Police Department. Served eight years as commissioner of the Philadelphia Police Department and currently serves as a regular CNN law enforcement subject matter expert contributor. Well, Chuck Ramsey presented a TED Talk on mending broken trust, police and communities they serve. I recommend that everyone take time to view it. In his TED Talk, Chief Ramsey talks about the history of policing, the role of the police officer, 
how police have not always stood on the right side of justice throughout American history and throughout the world, and community policing to mend broken trust. In concluding his presentation, he tells a story about his time working in Chicago. He explained when he was a sergeant working in Chicago, he had an officer named Paris Patton. Patton could sweet talk and calm everybody down after the chaos resulting from executing warrants, narcotics raids, or hostile and violent situations. He could calm anybody down. And he even cultivated sources of information through his deeply rooted passion for the community. So one day, Chief Ramsey asked Officer Patton, how do you do that? Patton explained that it was really very simple. At the moment of birth, every person is a perfect 10. Deduct three right away because life is temporary as it doesn't last forever. If you're born into a family where there is substance abuse, domestic violence, deduct another three because the environment that you're in, you don't have a role model, model or mentor that others may have it's going to be hard for you to make it. If you're a member of a minority group, deduct another three because some doors may not be open to you that are open to others. So that leaves one. That one is that person's dignity, dignity and self-respect. Patton said, do whatever you have to do as a police officer but never ever do anything to take away that person's dignity or self-respect because that is all they have left and they will fight you to hold on to it. That's the message I bring to Huntington, to my officers and to the community. Chief Ramsey said he never forgot that, but he concludes that it takes a collective effort on all fronts, and we have to stop pointing the finger and come up with solutions. So, I always, I was always taught, as most of you were, that it's inappropriate to answer a question with a question. But I've been asked often, Carl, but why Huntington? And I simply say, why not Huntington? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mayor Williams, I had a long speech, and I'm glad it warmed up a little bit. <laughs> but. I look forward to this venture, this challenge, and new chapter in my life. Thank you all. Thank you, Chief Colder, and welcome to the Huntington Police Department. Reverend Jim Morgan from Trinity Episcopal Church will now give the benediction. Everyone remain standing. Chief, I'm sure you know Jesus often answered a question with a question. <laughs> Let us pray. This is the day that the Lord has made and how wonderful it is that we come together today to welcome Chief Carl Colder and his family. As we count our many blessings this week, may his words inspire and encourage the hearts of the people of Huntington 
that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear and hatred cease. We ask that you be with the chief, his department, and all uniformed personnel and frontline workers as they work for justice and understanding. May the words we have heard here today be sown in our hearts so that they may grow and blossom into wonderful things as they impact our minds, our relationships, and our lives. We offer thanks for all the blessings you have given us and ask that through your mercy, you will walk with us and guide us in the ways you would have us to live. In Jesus' name, we pray, and may we go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Uh, this concludes the uh, ceremony. Please join us inside the convention center uh, for coffee and refreshments. Thank you, and God bless.